women around the world understand that aging can be difficult and often how they've aged does not reflect who they really are. Hi, my name is Kathy. I came from Cape Coral, Florida. Beauty is far more than skin deep and often the desire for a makeover comes from the soul of the child within. So I grew up uh, in Massachusetts. There were three, three girls born two years apart, so I was kind of the middle child until my brother was born. My relationship with my mom was, was really tough. I was always getting yelled at and, and tried to stay away from her, tried to, tried to hide. I can remember getting hit, and then I don't know what I did to deserve it, so I don't remember what the crime was, but I can remember I can remember my mother using a belt and it was always on bare skin and you know just I don't even know I don't know what I did but I know I was afraid I was terrified of her mm -hmm. and she would hit us with whatever was handy and you know she hit me with my jump rope and I never touched that jump rope again and stick and you know a spoon and just <laughs> my mother thought you don't have an opinion you're a wild one and I need to break you if I got a B it was how come you couldn't get an A and she said I didn't care if my children loved me I just wanted my children to behave she saw so much of herself in me she was trying to prevent me from becoming her. And my mother wanted me to play the flute. I hated to play the flute. And I played that flute all through high school and I became the drum major. So I we used to, you know, march in parades and things. And I wanted to sing. I loved musicals. I loved acting. My senior year in high school, I had a lead in the musical. She marched into that musical. She made the announcement that I was not gonna be in the play in front of everyone because I had been getting a C in physics. That broke me. I checked out. Went from being an AB student to getting Ds and Fs. I got called into the office one day and I see my mother sitting there with my grandfather. And they said, we're so disappointed in you. Shortly after that, I left home. I'm not gonna fail, I'm gonna succeed. I had money saved and I went to school nights and work days. And I started to work as a temp. I was Kelly Temporaries. I knew that I wanted to be a mother. I knew I wanted to have a family. I got the house and I got the husband and I got the kids. When I had my first son, I had complete unconditional love for this child. And for the first time in my life, I understood what that meant. My dad passed away. My mom really went downhill. We made the decision that she would come and live with us. Mother's dementia, she really has a very selective memory. I asked her, for instance, do you remember when you came into my room with the suitcase and said, okay, it's time for you to leave? And she doesn't remember doing that. She says, oh, I never did that. And I look at this makeover as me having the opportunity to shine my own light, to say, this is who I am. I am ready to step into my light. Awesome. Let's do it. Yeah. Creating and sharing this experience is so fulfilling, but also very challenging. You help us by watching our videos, and if you don't have my book, Staging Your Comeback, reading that will help you better understand what we do. Please help us continue offering this free content by commenting, liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. I am feeling a little apprehensive, nervous, and when I leave here, I want to look creative and refined and pulled together. Now, let's see the big reveal. Hello world. I came here a little apprehensive. I'm leaving feeling creative and classy and very put together. Splashed in with a little bit of dramatic and sexy. I can tell you I had no preconceived <laughs> notion what I was in for when I came here. I came with a completely open mind and I have been blown away by the attention, all the steps that have required and just seeing myself 
in this final form. I didn't think I could look this way. And now that I've seen it, I'm not willing to let that go. I want to keep this. This is, this is the image that I want people to see when they look at me. Having this done affects so many parts of your life that you don't even realize. The fact that I can look in the mirror and be proud of what I look like, like what I see, it makes me stand a little taller. It makes me feel more confident. Do you spend a lot of time putting on a face for what you think others want to see? Let me be what you want. Let me, let me mold myself into that person that you're looking for. And what happens when you do that is you lose a part of yourself. You get to a point where you don't know who you are anymore. I know my voice can be heard and I don't have to be silenced and I don't have to be afraid to show me. This is who I am. Now the world is happy. Hello. 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 He is the sweetest. Is this the best baby ever? He is the best baby ever. Oh, he likes you already. He does. Are you the one that got the lipstick on him? <laughs> we weren't sure if it was on the ground and he rolled in it or... Something's not working. Well, I just figured this will... Christopher John Hopkins, someone labeled my station mm. so we know who I am. Exactly. Oh, listen, oh, listen, listen to oh, that. I, oh, I oh. know. I know how much... He it's says, only I will since this always morning. be a lap dog, even oh. though I know I will get a little bit bigger. I mean, my other dogs never did this. Like they, no. I would try to make them do it, mm. but they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Just, just like the baby. Oh, oh, oh he yeah. Oh, he's so oh, sweet. Yes. She's getting a makeover. Yes. Hi. It's Hi. Right? Yes, it is. Okay. So now, I'm going to release the dog. But Kayla's doing There's something. There's always else. some sort of technical difficulties. Always. Well, I'll let you do that first. How are you doing so far? I'm doing fantastic. The makeup looks really nice. Thank you. Yes. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. I can't believe she opened up my eyes. Yeah, and she's able to, because it's, I think that's the story. Two in the talk up things he said, you know. E-R, son, so, ooh, B-O-T, junction. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Oh, sicka, sicka, many, many. Oh, lude book, lade book, lik, console, ya. Karte, la, merda, fra, e, bit, du, nam. They call you a puto. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Like chin chin is a toast in Italy, but mm. it means penis. In yeah, I was going to say, I think puto means penis too, yeah, but it's yeah. like you penis head. Oh, I don't, I know large penis in most languages. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, chin chin. Mm. Grosse schwanz. <laughs> schwanz. Grosse the schwanz. Penny <laughs> grande. Oh, yes. <laughs> grande.